Hey guys, as you can tell, I'm in the car. I have my hair appointment today. I'm getting my hair done. I'm so excited. I didn't tell you guys. Not that it's like some big secret, but I just wanted to be a little low key, you know, pop out with a new little hairstyle. I'm gonna whip some of this on. Just a little hint. My appointment's at one, and it's 12:49. I've only been here for like maybe three minutes. I'm really excited, so I'm gonna take you guys with me through the process. I'm really, I don't wanna play, I don't plan on, I wanna vlog it, but I don't wanna like vlog vlog it because I just haven't, like this is my first time having like a hair appointment in a long time. I don't get these a lot, so I really just kinda wanna enjoy it. Not that I don't enjoy stuff when I vlog, but y'all know what I'm saying, I wanna be in a moment. And what's wrong with that? So, I'm about to go in there. Oh, if you want to know, I'm going to Studio Sage Salon and I'm seeing Jazz. This is it right here. It's in Jacksonville, Florida. I've been there before. She cut my hair last year, but I haven't got my hair dyed by her. So, this is my first time getting my hair dyed by her, but I'm excited. Bleach is in. Yo. Ah! her i literally love it and you see that baby those are curls okay last time i left the salon after going blonde i did not have curls okay and i absolutely love the color i probably will go lighter but not right now because i honestly love it and it's hard because i really like this color like it looks really good with my edges and stuff Wow, okay, so we have to go style it myself at home, but this is the best I've left the salon. Cause my, like, I would wear this out. It's obviously just like a little small for me, but I also got a haircut. I have to remember that, like, I got a haircut. Ah! I love her! Jess, you are amazing! And honestly, the whole, we're gonna get to this in the studio. My, my studio. So I'll see you guys when it's all styled, looking cute! Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the obvious. My hair. I dyed my hair, I'm very excited. It wasn't like a secret or anything, I just didn't tell anybody, if that makes sense. I wasn't hiding it from you guys, I hide nothing from you guys. You guys are my best friends. But, I did get my hair dyed. So, um, I, I have notes right here, if you see me looking to the side. So, first things first, where I went. I went to Studio Hair, Studio Sage, Studio Sage Salon in Jacksonville, Florida, and I went to Jazz at Love by Jazz. I'll put her information right here and down below in the description box. I love her. She did my hair cut the first time, I meant the last time I cut my hair when I cut off the damage. Well, I still had damage, but when I cut off my hair last time and before I grew it out, she's who I went to, and then I returned to her again. So this is my second time going to her. The first time I did not receive any color, it was just a haircut, it was just a curly cut. And um, this time I got a curly cut and I dyed my hair. Well, I bleached my hair. Well, I guess it's the same thing. But, yeah, so I went to somebody that I know and that I trust, okay? That is tip number one. Please, please, please. I'm not saying nothing about nothing, but when you look at their work and if it's all straight hair and you don't have straight hair, then you shouldn't be going there. If you're a kinky girl and she got wavy hair on her page, baby, what are you doing? You know, you have to see, I mean, of course, every curl pattern is different, but you have to go to someone who has styled, cut, dyed hair that looks similar to yours. That's step number one. Someone who is specialized in curly hair. It doesn't have to be a diva cut or a Rizzo's cut. It doesn't have to be none of that, baby. It just needs to be someone who is specialized in curly hair. Um, Next, I will say a couple of tips in here about like, if you want to dye your hair, go cut your hair, bring pictures, okay? Pictures, pictures, pictures. Pictures are very important. Go on Pinterest, girl, you can take a picture right now. Look. Okay, let me stop playing, but um, bring pictures of what you want, the dye job, and like however you want your hair cut. Show her, or him, examples of what you want. It's gonna be easier to paint a picture because you want to make sure that they understand what you want, okay? and. They should be having a consultation, like a mini consultation with you, either prior to the service 
or during the service me and jazz had a thorough discussion like in our text messages and before she even like touched my hair about what i wanted and how i wanted it so the part that you can obviously tell is dyed i literally just have a little patch okay that is what i wanted that was the goal here i absolutely love my results so i can't really do it perfectly but literally give or take a few hairs i have a little patch of hair that is this blonde kind of honey blondish color um we did bleach my hair and this is the lightest we can go with my curl pattern still being intact with me still having healthy curls and that was very very important to me that was vital for me to be able to even do the service like i wasn't going to do it if i was going to damage my hair no matter how healthy your hair is, one dye, one bleach, one flat iron can damage your hair. I was very particular about who I went to and what I was doing. Um, I trusted her. I literally trust her with my life because my hair is my baby, okay? My whole channel is based on my hair. So it is very important to me. Not like just like in vain, but like, you know what I mean? Y'all you know what I mean? So, um, the black that you see, or brown, whatever you want to call it, this is my natural hair color. This is 100% virgin hair. Like, this is what I grew from my scalp since I cut my hair. Um, what was that, last year? I think I cut my, I went to her last year, maybe June or July. So, I've grown all those hairs since last year. And give or take, like, we didn't dye this. So you can kind of still see some of the ends are blonde. We didn't cut out the blonde, like, intentionally. She just cut off what was dead, what was damaged, what was just done for. As you guys know, I used to use a dim brush all the time, which I have since retired because my curls are very healthy now. I don't really need it. Um, not that you can't use a dim brush. I probably still will. But um, I haven't used it since. Um, but, yeah, so I did keep the dye, not the dye, my old color is still there but a lot of it like it's like 95 percent cut out i paid this time i paid 85 dollars for my hair my haircut and i paid i think 110 115 for um like the actual dyeing process it was very smooth i really enjoyed my stay there i've been there before i love the salon it's clean and friendly especially with covid i felt very safe i really appreciated that um they're very nice everyone is in there is nice um they do wavies, they do straights. I seen guys in there, like it was a very friendly environment. I really enjoyed that. Um, I had already filmed this video, like I filmed it the day I got my hair done, but I wanted to kind of discuss like the differences between my hair then before my haircut and now. So I'll insert a little picture right here. Um, as you can tell, like the top of my hair, which is because the curls were getting um, longer, you know, your hair kind of falls. But now that my hair is cut, they're all kind of like, they're all springy like you can tell like my hair is really curling up i really like that and the hair in the hair in the shower my curls are phenomenal i don't have to use a demon brush that is very big for me um i don't want to say an insecurity but i'm very open with you guys so i shared that i use demon brushes i didn't want to be out here showing y'all my hair oh this is my hair no stop baby i use that demon brush every single day and if i didn't i'd let you guys know um i I was dim brush stand. That dim brush has got me through a lot. Okay, okay. If you don't know, like I damaged my hair really bad last year. I'll show you guys like the worst picture of my hair. My hair in its worst state, right here, baby. I don't want to talk about it. And I went to a salon. I went to a salon with a girl. I see maybe two or three curly girls on that page, and was like, oh, okay, she wants to do curly hair, and I left the salon looking like that. Go to a stylist you trust, like I said. But where? What was I talking about? How did I get on that tangent? Oh, but the difference is, yes, so um, my curl pattern has changed. I got that question on Instagram. My curl pattern has changed, but for the better. It's not damaged at all. You can see, like, these curls might be a little looser, but I don't really think so. I think it's because, um, well, actually, I do think so, because you're going to see them more because, especially the contrast. Let me see. I want to show y'all, like, show y'all, show y'all. I don't really do my hair with the side part, but it's kind of cute, is it? But yeah, so for the cut, I really just wanted that round shape. As you can tell, I really just wanted my shape back. I don't think she honestly didn't cut that much off when you see. It's still like, I think my hair might have had one extra layer right here. But other than that, like, absolutely love it. And I think it was necessary because look at my hair without a brush. I, my hair wasn't this tight with a brush. My curl pattern has got so much tighter since my haircut. Oh, this is a side note. I'm kind of all over the place. Bear with me. Don't forget to tip your stylist, your nail doers, your toe 
clippers do not forget to tip okay important um so yeah this is my haircut i'm going to show you guys y'all low key if i want if i took a bobby pin i could do the bangs again not that i want to but i'll show you guys the back So that is the back of my hair. It is, I think it's sig not significantly shorter, but it's not. She didn't cut off that much, but she cut off what was necessary. Um, the change in my hair has been honestly phenomenal. I will have a video out on what I did before and after my color treatment to like preserve my curls and what I have been doing. My curly hair routine has kind of like changed up a little bit. You know, I'm not really using them and brush like I said before. Um, so yeah, that's really it. Yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you guys just to let you know what's going on. I can't just like dye my hair and keep you guys out of the loop. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I wanted to keep the integrity of my hair so it couldn't have been just like a, I want to do this. Let's do it. I had to prepare my hair for this. I was deep conditioning twice a week. I've been doing that since my hair was damaged twice a week. Lots of protein. Curlsmith, the Bond Curl, amazing. You have to prepare your hair for stuff like this. So I will have a video out on that. Um, on my preparation and what I did after um, but other than that let me know your questions down below through this video I'll probably insert like some pictures of my haircut and like the pictures I've been taking um, if you want to know let me tell you guys if you want to like kind of like achieve the same look I just told her that I wanted my hair kind of rounded but I still wanted volume I wanted my hair cut for volume but I wanted to keep the length but I wanted that round shape kind of a mouthful but like I said find pictures and then for this I literally just took my hair let me see if I can do it okay it's kind of hard looking in my viewfinder to do this but I took a section of my hair because I wanted it I wanted it when I do my middle part I wanted it to be like that literally just like a pop like a streak so I took give or take a few strands this chunk of my hair it's honestly not that much it might feel like it but it's not and this was bleached and toned I haven't put any toner on it or nothing this is the lightest I can get I think I might go lighter in the future but I'm not too sure maybe like towards winter or something but I'm really liking this color it goes nice and flush with my skin tone if you can tell like wow forehead that's crazy but yeah I literally just took a chunk of my hair that's it. If you have any questions about my color, my cut, where I went, who I went to, you can either DM me on Instagram or you can just comment down below and I will answer any of your questions that you guys have. Thank you guys for watching this video so much. I really, really, really appreciate you guys and I will see you guys next time. Keep deep conditioning. Toodles!